Hi gang, my name is Dr. Jay Brightle with New Leaf Chiropractic and I want to talk to you today about two common symptoms that people usually will think about stretching. However, I want to just kind of say that you should not stretch, but what I want to offer you is that it's really, really important also specifically to strengthen the core. The first symptom, low back pain. And uh, I'm all for stretching your low back pain and, and we all know these common things where you stretch and, and, and you lean back. However, what I really, really want you to think about today is uh, what we call a spondylolisthesis. Can I steal those? Spondylolisthesis is when a bone in your spine, instead of being here, starts to do something like that where it slides backwards. Now, my job as chiropractor is to take that spondylolisthesis and move it back forward. However, what happens with the spondy is you don't take a a, a joint in your low back that looks this good and it just moves for no reason, generally speaking. All these things are generally speaking. Usually what happens is chronic stress builds up over time and you end up with a spine that looks like this. So what happens is because this spine has, has degenerated and decayed, also called arthritis, for so long, what happens is the disc is now dried out. You can see how the disc looks dried out versus the healthy one. And now all these muscles are, are really weak, and the ligaments are weak. So not only is the disc dehydrated, the ligaments are weak, the muscles are weak. So what happens is there's, there's nothing left for it to do, but it, it just, it's really easy for it to move. And that puts a lot of pressure on the spinal nerves as in the spinal canal. So there's no amount of stretching when, when you get this far, if this is your case with back pain, that's going to actually take the pressure off the nerves and put that bone and put it back into place. So the one thing that you can do is you can work on core strength. I'm not gonna show you any core strength videos today, I just wanna to talk to you about this core strength, but what I would encourage you to do is go over to our website, chiropractic, long, uh, <laughs> newleaf-chiropractic.com, and then go ahead and click on, there's one for stretches, right, Larissa, stretches? Stretches. And then there's one for core strength, and there's lots of core strength exercises there. This video, I just wanna build the case for not stretching, that doesn't mean you shouldn't stretch, but an emphasis on strengthening the core for low back pain. So that's one reason and one symptom. So the reason is degeneration and the symptom is low back pain. The other symptom, we had a lot of that th this week, is, is shoulder. So if your shoulder's uh, painful, why are we talking about the core? And I'm gonna use my trusty assistant here, Larissa, so if you wanna grab a seat there, Larissa. And, uh, and, and while, as you watch this video, here's my, my challenge to you. Just go ahead and move your arm. Nice job, Larissa, you pass. Now, if, if you're uh, with uh, your partner or friend or somebody who you, if, who you trust, may I get into your personal space here? Yeah, okay, we're great. good, we're good. Um, and so just go ahead and just push on the core a little bit. And I'm gonna, uh, can, I guess we can see if you just stand up maybe a little bit. There, good. Now try to move, try to move your arm. Now move, go ahead and move your arm. And you can feel the core going ahead and firing. Now go ahead and, and try and move that arm without firing the core. I fail. <laughs> okay, thank you. If you're doing this and you're playing by the rules, when you're moving your arm, you should feel your core firing. It's not possible, I, I just went to bad posture, because it's not possible to fire your core, uh, to move your arm without firing your core. They're one and the same. So why are we talking about shoulder pain and core strength? For that reason alone. Because this is a long lever, it requires a strong center of gravity. All for stretching, all for doing all sorts of shoulder things, and you can go ahead and play around on our website. We've got some stuff for shoulder strengthening and pec minor stretches. All those are really important, but I really, really, for the longevity of your shoulder, for the longevity of your body, it's the core strength that's so important. This is the center, this is every, everything you, that you do starts here. So shoulder pain, low back pain, both of those, strong emphasis on core. Um, there's a, one other thing that I want you to consider uh, to strengthen for shoulder pain. And if you go ahead and click on our website, click on stretches, and then click on, what it's called sh shoulder strength. But the, it's called serratus anterior, so it's the muscle that's responsible for getting your, uh, go ahead and sit and face that way, Larissa. And you can actually feel this right here, this spot right here, go ahead and lift your shoulder up, Larissa. This serratus anterior should be really strong. So when that gets weak, the shoulder, the, the scapula starts to, yeah, you, you see her flapping around there. It gets really weak. And when your shoulder gets really weak and it doesn't have a good 
core to connect to, what happens is you start using all these shoulder muscles. When you're using the shoulder muscles, that creates more edema, more swelling, as a result, more pain. It can lead to something called bursitis. So to get away from using the, they call called the sits muscles, the rotator cuff. So we had uh, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, as well as subscapularis. So to get away from using those four muscles, if you've got a strong serratus anterior muscle, and you're doing a lot of stuff where you're lifting your arm over your head, especially with weight, it's gonna keep that scapula from flapping around. It's gonna suck it right back down to your, to your thorax. Thank you, Larissa. And it's, as extension of that, if you've got strong core, it's gonna help your space anterior also, and it's gonna give you a stronger uh, b basis for all the activities that you do. Okay, so with all these things, so there's a little disclaimer. This, this may or may not be applicable to you. Call me, message me, talk to your chiropractor doctor about what these things actually matter to you. I feel like I should say this at the front. But shoulder and low back, core, vitally important. You can put the stretching on, if, and the stretching is not working, there's a reason why the stretching is not working. It's just because, it's because you're weak, your core's weak. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed that.